almost identically sized Camaro nearly matches the Merc's accelerative performance. The SS won the balls to 60 miles per hour in 4.1 seconds and through the quarter in 12.4 seconds at 116 miles per hour it would be slightly quicker if it were equipped with the company's 8-speed automatic, but the one is available only with a 6-speed manual. We aren't complaining. The Camaro's big 6.2-liter V8 is down on horsepower to the boosted Mercedes V8, but because the Camaro's 3,747-pound curb weight undercuts the C63s by 355 pounds, the two have near-identical power-to-weight ratios. And bear in mind that these are effectively the same numbers that a standard Camaro SS can achieve for as little as $38,000. It's without reservation that we voted the Camaro back onto the 10 best list for 2017. Or, at least, put the V6 and V8 powered coupes, and their one the versions, on the list. The 2.0-liter turbocharged base Camaro, in its first 10 best trial, was not nearly as well received. The chassis is willing, but its Turbo 4 has uneven power delivery and sounds tragic. It doesn't share in the award. Neither does the convertible Camaro. We tested a V6-powered convertible that proved to be the polar opposite of the 2.0-liter coupe, a willing power rain stymied by a soft and floppy chassis. As for Mercedes, well, it should remember that it took Chevrolet 50 years to start making Camaros that are this good. Also, it can take solace in the fact that a Chevrolet Impala makes a pretty miserable substitute for an S-Class. Oh, 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 oh,